Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at PUBG's new replay feature and I'm going to be trying to go over it in the quickest, most effective way possible. So on your home screen, click replays right here. That'll take you to this menu. You have 20 active replays so you can store up to 20 at a time. If you select any one of your replays, it'll show you match information on the right such as stats for the game and also who was on your team. When scrolling down, you'll see that there are some lock videos. For me, you guys may or may not have these, but just to lock a video, it just stops it from being deleted once your inventory fills up because it will delete the latest video right here that isn't locked. So you just go down here, you click lock. And if you scroll down, you'll see that there's a little lock key and lock on it. So, And then you can unlock it and it will delete when the time comes. So now that we got all that out of the way, let's actually get into the replay feature itself. So once you select a game, you just click play. The first thing you're going to want to do when you get into the replay is you're going to want to press J. This will bring up your timeline and allow you to move freely amongst the different uh, times inside of the video. You can click kills and down but not outs and it will highlight those moments in the video for you. So you can go to your action moments. In the bottom right hand corner you'll see one times. You can use up and down on your directional to alter these. All the way up to two times and down to 0.25 speed. So once you're done with that menu, you just press J again. You can press right click to third person free look around the map. You could zoom in with your scroll wheel and zoom out with your scroll wheel in this. And then left click will go back to first person. At any point in you working with the replay feature, you can press X and that will toggle an X-ray for nearby enemies. So you'll see them yellow outlined right there above my head. X again will toggle that off. Next is the free look cam. So if we press F, we'll enter our free look mode to where we can move around with W, A, S, and D. Much like in the third person camera, we can scroll wheel in to get those really nice cinematic shots. And we could scroll wheel out. Pressing Q will raise your camera. And pressing E will lower your camera. There are three speeds at which your camera can move. It's at a crawl, so if I hold control, it'll move a little bit slower. If I let go of control, it'll move at the medium speed. And if I hold shift, I enter warp drive, okay? My uh, resolution to the different speeds is to get a controller because that allows you to smoothly pan at whatever speed you're moving your joystick. But anyways, back to the replay feature. From where your character is, there is a range for which the replay captures. So for example, if you see how it's kind of grayed out over there, my replay captures nothing outside of that range. So I only capture gameplay within this box here, this little circle. While inside of the replay, I can press tab and it will give me all of the players inside of this effective range. And then let's say I thought Red Room Raider was cheating. I can go back, cl click him, and see his first hand gameplay with X's to see X-ray through the wall to see if he's looking at people. Let's say I thought LL Cool J wasn't looking too safe. I can go watch him first person. So this will be really good for reporting players and also moving forward just cleaning up the overall cheating epidemic that seems to be taking place right now. I believe the devs recently announced they're going to add a replay or a report function inside of this replay mode as well. So soon enough we'll be able to get rid of them all. Another fantastic thing is a location stamp. So I can press control and any of the F1s, F F1 through F12. So we'll do F1 for this one. And now I have that location locked. So I can go over here, be capturing a scene of this landscape here. And let's say I wanted to go back and capture that location. I just press F1 and it locks me in. So I'm right back to where I was. Now let's say you're getting all this stuff, but these name tags are getting kind of pesky. It doesn't look very immersive having all these name tags on all these different players. So the way around that is you press control plus U and that will remove all UI from the video. So that's going to be all for this video. I hope this helped you out a little bit. I hope it's a little less intimidating when you go in there now and I look forward to seeing your epic cinematics that come out from it. Have a wonderful day everyone and I'll talk to you later.